I'm John Cancio, Anna Hall, <laughs> by my side. Hi, Anna. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I, I missed, missed you. you. See? Knock on wood. We think alike, right? <laughs> we miss each other because yeah. we haven't talked much I know. Lately. We got to spend some time today. We hung out this that morning nice. to talk about the show a little bit. Yeah. So that was cool. So how you been lately? I've been Pretty good. good. I know we're both so busy. We're, we both yes. work. We both have busy lives. Do you get a chance to watch TV ever? I don't get a chance to watch a lot, but I have this DVR that's really cool. Oh, yeah. So I get to tape some of the court shows, which yeah. are which are fun, because I like ones? the law. Well, I like Judge Marilyn Millian. Oh, you she know. speaks Spanish. We both speak Spanish, mm -hmm. and we have a lot in common, and she's always saying the grandmother sayings, like I do. You do I that do. a lot, too. I do that a lot. I remember the one, um, the last one I heard you say, you said your grandmother always says, real people eat with their hands. <laughs> and that's right. My grandma says everything. Yeah. How about that? My grandma says everything. But yeah, people's court is really fun, and she's like a, she's a tough judge, and yeah, you know, she tells um, it like it is. She's real. I she like is. her. And, and I recently fair. saw this crazy case on Judge Judy. Yeah, you were telling this me about crazy that. Case. Tell us about that case. Okay, imagine you're on eBay. Okay. You're ordering yourself what you think is a cell phone. Mm -hmm. It's an eye touch, brand yeah. new, nice eye touch. Those are cool. Yeah, very cool. You read the description. It weighs like 4.3 pounds mm -hmm. or what ounces? What, okay, not pounds, let's say pounds. pounds. <laughs> yeah, pounds would be too much, but ounces. Yeah. And you think you're getting a phone. It's yeah. nice. You look at the picture, and then you get an envelope in the mail. Uh huh. And it has a picture of a phone. <laughs> what? A picture a of a phone. So How the much lady, did she, pay for that? she was a scam artist. She was sending people pictures of phones instead of sending phones. Oh and my god! And she wrote down in like small letters on the ad, "This is for a picture only." Are you serious? Four hundred bucks. Four hundred. The lady was out. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Now, wow. I'm not violent, but that is a case where I will punch somebody in their face. Johnny. <laughs> that makes you want to get violent. Could you imagine spending I, your hard-earned money? I know. On, I would be know, outraged. I would be outraged. outraged too. You're purchasing a phone, and it's you get a picture of a phone in the mail. That wow. that's so. Insulting. Oh my God! So what did she do? Like, what did Judge Judy say? She just called her a scam artist and a disgrace, and mm -hmm. she, she lost the case, of course. Judge Judy, so. she's tough. And she turned it over to the attorney general. So, oh my so God! So that's good because that's so she's gonna ridiculous. get in trouble. She should get in trouble. She should. I mean, she really should. That's that's ridiculous. Could you imagine? You know, you wow. spend your hard-earned money on that, and you get wow, and you get a picture. Wow. Not even like a glossy. Pretty was picture. it at least it like, like a printed, printed in black color? and white picture? Off, oh my gosh, off that the, is crazy. Yeah, that, it's outrageous. <laughs> it's outrageous. Now I understand now, you work for for the bus yeah, company, right? Yeah, I mean right? this is an, this is another. Speaking of outrageous, this is, this is the OTB network. Thing, um, but this type of thing happens every day. Um, at my job, this woman comes in and you just heard. I mean, basically to make a long story short. She, you could tell she was being like battered by her boyfriend. And I'm not one to speculate, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but it was pretty evident. I mean, just in her face, she had the whole demeanor, like the closed off demeanor. And then her boyfriend's behind her, like watching her every move, her, like grunting and so stuff. So he looked like he was in control of her? Yeah, and then like, and I know looks can be deceiving, but just the, her demeanor, and then I was looking at her and she had like the bruises on her arms. Like he would just like grab her and be like, you know what I mean? And then just seeing them both interacting, mm -hmm. like, it was obvious that he beats her. And then I was watching them and you know, she's sitting and she was trying to get away from him. That's why she bought the ticket um, to get away from him. I work at a bus terminal. Mm -hmm. And he was like, if you go, if you go, like just, you know, it was really, I was scared for her. And then she's sitting down he's like, hey girl, like grabbing so did her. You, and did you feel bad for her? when you, I felt bad for her. Did, you, did it make you wanna intervene? I mean, it made me wanna reach out and tell her like, just to see if she asked her if she was okay. Because nobody deserves abuse. Man or woman, you know, nobody deserves to be abused. And um, I felt bad for her. Mm -hmm. But we're going to make our own decisions. So if, what, in what case would you intervene when you see something like that? If he actually hit her at the bus terminal? Would oh, no, you? that's security's job. I would, <laughs> the only She's thing like, I'm not getting involved. I'll call the cops, but that's about it. Yeah. Like what am I? I mean, that's security's job. You learned your lesson. After, some people after like lesson. to be beat. Some people like to be treated. So you badly. really think people like to get beat, though? 
I think some I, people I don't think do. I agree with that. I, I think, think some, some people, people like, you know, someone controlling right. them maybe. Right. You know, they, they like the maybe the macho-ness or right. somebody else having power, but I'm right. not sure anybody likes to get beat. Well, I think I mean I think people are all different. Some people like to be hurt. Some people like to be like to have that control over them, like you said. Some mm -hmm. people like the makeup after being beaten. Um, I mean I feel like when people are in abusive relationships, um, it's a mind thing. Like your mind gets all screwed up because that person tells you like you made me do this or or things like you know I love you baby just make me crazy sometimes and you know what I mean and they actually think in their mind like that it's okay and they think and when you're in love like love is blind like you you let a lot of things go when you're in love. But um. Yeah, I think people make poor decisions yeah. when they're in love, but. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure people like to get beat. I, I'm not sure that they do. Some I do. Think, I actually know. Really? People, but you know, everybody's different. You and know? you know someone that got out of yeah. a relationship recently. You she were did. telling but me. But you know what, Johnny? After I was telling you, well, my friend, she was in a, an abusive relationship and she left the guy, and I was so happy because you know, when you're in a relationship like that, that person can end up killing you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean that's why a lot, so many women and stuff, and. Not only women are abused, Men but too. so many women end up in like jail. You know, you talk about Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah. She cut her her husband or her boyfriend's penis off. Yeah, and ran over and, it. Yeah, and it's like, you know, but why does that happen? Didn't they because sew it back on? I, I think they did. I actually think he did a porn too. Oh, <gasps> oh my god! Not that I not that I saw it or anything, but you know I heard about it. it. <laughs> and also, like that woman monster, the woman uh, that the movie Monster was made from, or well, made from her story. Yeah. She was abused, and she ended up ended up killing guys, from my understanding. Yeah. I mean, the the human psyche like gets but don't messed you think up that, from that trauma drives, and abuse. That drives people to it sometimes. It can. You know. But like I was going to tell you, remember I told you my friend, she got out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. I called her like a half an hour earlier and she's staying back at his house again. Ah, oh, so she's now with Love him again. Love is blind. Wow. So sometimes you just, it's, you just don't walk away, I guess. I guess. And like some people, like I learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. That's how I have to learn. I have to learn the hard way, but some people don't even learn the hard way. Yeah. Some people never learn because it's too late. Yeah. And they don't get another chance. Um, but speaking of domestic violence, I know... Um, what I'm about to ask you has nothing to do with domestic violence, but it's a, it has to do with, you know, feeling hurt. Right. I, and you have a song mm -hmm. called Discouraged. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Right. Nobody's really heard it yet, but I... I um, heard it. You heard it. Discouraged. She heard it. Discouraged. And uh, it's called Discouraged. And it basically, it's about that person who brings out, doesn't bring out the best in you. Mm -hmm. You know, you hang around certain people that make you feel good. And it's about somebody who makes you feel discouraged mm -hmm. about yourself and who and you, you don't are. Need that. Yeah, and, and you don't need it. So that's basically what the song's about. And it's on it's on my new album, mm -hmm. which I'm working on now. Mm -hmm. It's not quite ready yet, but it'll be ready. You guys are gonna sometime. love it. It's fabulous. And it gets the, the sneak peeks on it, don't oh, you? Oh yeah, I get the so. exclusive. But it's really the song I think is the best song that I've done and it really talks about that. You know, you made me feel discouraged. I didn't feel encouraged Like I didn't matter at all Felt like you weren't with me That's how it goes. Yeah! I, it. I get shy. Woo! So I'm excited about, about the, the new album. And I'm excited about today's show, too. Yes. So we got some fun things going on. And I understand you're going to be having a segment by yourself. And yeah. what are you going to be talking about, Anna? Well, you know, I was feeling a little down in the dumps uh, the other day. And I just felt kind of compelled to try to lift people's spirits and, you know, just talk to people, like people who may be dealing with adversities or dealing with struggles right now. Because, you know, we all need to be um, uplifted every now and then. So, so. you're going to be by yourself and you're yeah. going to discuss, you're going to try to lift our spirits. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> so you always lift And if I help spirits. at least one person that's watching, then I've done my job. Cool. 